Hey, wait. You came up the mountain, right? So? What business do you have out here? I don't recognize you. What's my business to you? Oh, nothing. Nothing. But if Santiago spots you, you'll be in trouble. Who's Santiago? He's with the Inquisition. You don't want to mess with them. He'd have you recruited to the monastery quick as look at you. What happens in the monastery? First, they shove a big stick in your hand. Then, they make you sweep the courtyards or stand guard like me. Not even a beer to keep you going. I'd do anything for a beer. Anything remotely fun is kept in a wine cellar. And that's always locked. It doesn't sound that bad. Well, if you like the sound of it, go and see Santiago and join up. What are you doing out here? Watching the road for creatures and probably providing a free meal for any hungry beasties that come wandering by. Why don't you just run for it? Once you've listened to those noises in the shadows, you'll be glad of a secure place to sleep. It's no fun in there, but it's no fun out here either. Even if I did make it back to Harbour Town, the Inquisition would just bring me right back here again. Not many places to hide on an island. I don't really have a lot of options. What creatures? Well. All manner of things came out of the ground with those ruins. Think of your worst nightmare, then double it. That's them. I don't see any creatures. Oh, they're smart. Smart and vicious. I hear them shuffling around in the shadows, waiting. God, will you look at the size of that thing? What? Where? I don't see anything. Have you overdone the smokes? Here. Have a swig of this. Beer? You've got beer? Man alive, that's good stuff. That's like water to a dying man, that is. I just hope those beasts stay in the shadows. Well, who do we have here? I don't recognize you. Looks to me like you're a vagrant. And vagrancy, that's illegal. If you can't give me a good reason why you're here, you will be recruited. I volunteered. I'm already enrolled at the monastery. Is that so? Well, we'll ask Master Pallas about that. I'll take you straight to him. Another recruit. The guards brought you here because you transgressed the law. Am I correct? Nope. I volunteered. I see. Then you must have something to show me. I have a letter from Commandant Carlos. Let me see. Belshaw. Hmm, I see. You rendered services in Harbour Town. Interesting. This changes things. We can make use of people like you. For what? That is your decision. The training we offer here would start you as a recruit, setting you on the path of a warrior. Or? Or, if your spiritual side is strong, you could become a novice, and later a mage. Whatever your choice, you must complete the same basic training.
What is the basic training? The fundamentals of staff fighting. Once that's completed, the masters will take over and you will learn from them. This is necessary whichever path you choose. What can I expect as a mage? Magic is a demanding discipline. Diligence, patience, practice and sacrifice are all required. However, you would not carry out advanced combat training. There would be no time, but the rewards as a mage are great and would grant you access to all the spells the masters can teach you. What if I wish to be a warrior of the order? Warriors learn staff combat, of course, and the basics of magic. You will become a skilled fighter armed with powerful combat spells. I have decided. I will take the path of magic. Then turn to the door on my left and go into the room next door. The novice tailor will give you your robe, and he will explain what happens next. What is your role here? You haven't said. Apart from answering questions from people like you, I am the administrator of the monastery. That keeps me more than busy. Could I help you with that? No. You concentrate on your training and your tests. Tests? What tests? Every master will test you. That is how you will proceed through the ranks here. You must listen well and study hard. That is what we expect from you. Do you have a test for me? You have already done a great deal for the Order. I do not need to test you. Now who could teach me to pick locks? There's something here about magic. Hey, sorry for staring. I'm always interested in new faces. I'm Taylor. I'm guessing Master Palace sent you here? He said you'd have a robe for me. Wear it with pride. Your bond with magic is not one easily achieved. Do you have some kind of map of this place? Oh, uh, yes. Every novice receives a map. Can't have them getting lost. Are you here out of your own free will? You could say that. I used to be with the Don, but never saw eye to eye with a man. After Harbour Town got taken over, I came up here. You enjoy sweeping the floors? Well, I wasn't going to follow the Don into the swamp. Safer, warmer, and more rewarding here. Do you want to see your chamber? Now I'm here, can I leave the monastery? Yes, from time to time. But believe me, you're safer in here. So, how do I leave the monastery? Master Pallas opens the gate, but he'll only do that once Master Ignatius considers you worthy. Who is Master Ignatius? Look, I can understand all the questions. I had them too, but like Master Pallas told me, everything in good time. You'll learn about Master Ignatius soon enough, so just relax. Look around, and be safe in the knowledge that nothing's trying to eat you in here. Sure. Show me the way. Follow me. Stay close. So, we've a new recruit in our midst. Where's your tunic, recruit? I don't have one. I'm training to become a mage. Each to their own. But you should know it takes more than some fancy finger-waving to get by here. Go and get yourself a staff and get back here sharpish. Why do I need a staff? Because everyone learns how to fight here. The staff is a noble weapon. In the right hands, as deadly as any blade. Although it pays to have a good blade handy too. And I think it's wise to see just how much training you're going to need. No sense in your dying too quick. Where do I get a staff? Look around the monastery, lad. Use those eyes of yours. Where's your staff? You're observant. I like that. I've done my training. Now it's up to you to do yours. 
Besides, if I need to, I can take a staff off any of these lot without breaking a sweat. Who are you? I'm Master Eric. I know what you're thinking. I seem like a nice guy, a decent chap. The reason I can be, because I know a thousand and one ways to push someone's liver out of their nostrils. Not wise to try that with a mage. For mages, I know a thousand and two ways. I'll be right back, Master Eric. That's more like it. This is the training area, where Master Eric whips new recruits into shape. Once you finish basic instruction, Master Vitus will conduct your training further. If you treat him right, Master Eric's a decent sort. Let's move before someone sticks a broom in your hand. Oh, and you're sharing your room with Hemlar. He's rather grumpy, but shouldn't cause you any worry. You are the newcomer. I'm new here. This recruit has been murdered. What do you know of this? Nothing. I was sent to this room. I heard you're short of new recruits. You'll have even fewer if this is how you greet them. I am not accusing you. Your recent arrival means you have two qualities I need. You could not have committed this crime. And you need to prove yourself here. You can start by discovering who is responsible for this. I don't know what happened here. I don't even know any of the people here. Then you shall be objective. Examine cold facts, for instance. This man was stabbed in the back, and there is no sign of magic which is why there is no reason for me to give personal attention to this case. Why do you want me to investigate this? You think you're not up to the task? How do you know I am? Your manner and appearance. You aren't from this island, which makes your presence illegal. It also means you are a survivor. I'm surrounded by books and bookworms. I need survivors. If you want me to investigate, where should I start? Master Vitus will aid you. I have more important things to consider. You have your task. This is your room. Right, I better get back to my duties. Where do I get a staff? Go and see Carlson, the smith. He's in charge of all the weapons.
Now who could teach me to pick locks? What are you doing here? You thieving rat! I'll kill you! Careful what you touch. Hey, new, huh? I'm Casper. If you need something around here, I'm your man. For a price, of course. I'll have to pick this, or find the key. He is someone who needs the protection of a good weapon. What sort of weapons do you have? Injure things, kill things, cause damage to things, that sort of weapon. But nothing's free. But I'll trade if you can't pay with gold. What's a smith doing with wooden staffs? Not much call for anything else. Shame, really because blades are my speciality. I remember every sword I've ever touched. Doesn't matter if I forged it, repaired it, or just sharpened it. I ain't like that Oscar down at the Don's camp, messing around with jewelry. Good solid blade, that's what you need. I need a staff. I'll check me stock. Got this, oak, good strong wood. Knock someone's teeth through the back of the skull. It'll serve as well as a blade. Well, most blades, if you train with it. And you don't go hitting the wrong people. 
Can you get me any blanks for smithing? Do you see any round here? There's simply no demand for blades here in the monastery. I could make some, but you'd have to bring me some more. Let's trade. Have you got any decent weapons? How about I take one of my weapons and beat you around the head with it? Then you can see how decent they are. Easy, Tiger. Do you recognize this knife? Let me see it. Oh, it's got blood on it. Why are you showing me that? Just take a quick look. Yes, I've sharpened that blade. Certainly didn't have blood on it then. It's one of Harlock's kitchen knives. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Can you teach me how to be a smith? Long as you don't steal my customers. Go on then. Pin your ears back and listen up. Well, if it isn't babyface. Come to play with the adults, have you? I warn you, our grown-up games get rough. Hey, got a smoke? You think if I did, I'd give one to you? I wouldn't give you the pox. <laughs> Look, another recruit, right? Me too. Tucker, recruit of the Inquisition, what a joke. The same people who chain me up now expect me to fight for them. You don't think we should fight? Against who? For what? If they're pulling us in for service, then the shit has really hit the fan. It's not like we've been given a choice. No. All we can do is prepare ourselves. One hour of training could mean the difference between life and death. Put your weapon yeah. down. I hope you rot like the rest of those fanatics. Who could teach me to pick locks? I don't think we've met. My name's William. Are you a volunteer? Yes, I am. Then we're fighting for the same cause. I take it you volunteered? Yes. There's something here worth fighting for. My parents had a farm on the island until those temples burst out of the ground. Now they have nothing. If it hadn't been for the warriors here, my parents would have lost their lives to those creatures. Instead, they're in Harbour Town. I swore to do anything I could against those creatures. Your mother, Tilda, has been asking for you. My mother? I hope she's all right. Yes, she's in Harbour Town. Good. That's where she should be. Thanks for letting me know. I don't want to talk to you right now. Stop there, brother. Are you on guard duty? You can't enter the cemetery. Please go back to your training. Why can't I enter the cemetery? This is where artifacts from the temples are being stored. The Inquisitor doesn't want them touched. Besides, some of them are dangerous. Dangerous? In what way? The artifacts are from the temple ruins. Who knows what ancient magic they contain. For your own safety, you should leave now. 
Let me through. No, absolutely not. And there's no way I can persuade you? No, absolutely not. Well, uh, unless you've spoken to Harlock. I haven't yet. I've been out here all day with no food. You get me some of his stew, I might turn a blind eye to you walking in there. Got a staff. So you have. But do you know what to do with it? No, Master Eric. Well, then, it's a good job I'm here, isn't it? To start, you need to learn some moves from a few of our fighters Tucker, William, and Cato. When they're satisfied with your progress, come back and see me, and I'll be keeping a close eye on you. Can you run that by me again? I'm a patient man. I've had to be. But there is a limit to it. And you are in danger of running up against it. Yes, Master Eric. Well then, off with you. And don't come back until you've learned the basics. We're supposed to train. Life of glamour this, isn't it? Right, this is what they taught me. To be good with a staff, you have to work on strength and technique. Build up your arms. Whenever you hit, you want to hit it hard. And once you've trained, we'll practice fighting. See if either of us are any good. Are there rules in the arena? Pretty basic ones. The fight starts when we get in there. The fight lasts until someone's on the ground. You don't attack anyone on the ground. And it finishes when someone leaves. How can I improve my fighting technique? I'm no expert. For me, muscles come the most. There has to be more to it than strength. Like they've trained a recruit up in much else. I'll show you what I know, though. And you can ask William. He's picked up more than I have. I could do with some fight practice. Yeah, I could do with some. And if you lose, we can fight again. We're all on the same side. Better we all are, better for all of us. And fight me! Ah! I hope you rot like the rest of those fanatics. That was good. You're looking good. I've taught you what I know. You should fight William. He'll teach you more about technique.
You're supposed to train me. You'll do well here if you're stout-hearted. You can get strength training with Tucker, and I'll show you how to fight with a staff. I'm no master, but I know enough to give a good grounding in the basics. When Tucker's satisfied that you're strong enough, come to me to learn about technique. And then, then you have to face Kato. Watch out for Kato. He's the biggest arsehole around. Kato's the best fighter. That's Master Arik. Kato's more of an ass. Don't let him muck you around. I've worked on my strength. I think it's time for us to train. Well, you look like you've been doing your strength training with Tucker. So yes, I'm ready. So, we fight. That's the next step. Time to end it! Uh. Uh. Thanks for the lesson. I will learn from this and train more. here because Master Arik sent me to train with you. Did he? Yes, that's why I'm here. Go and see Tucker and William. You can't beat them. No point trying me. Go on. Go and train with them. I've finished training with Tucker and William. Then it's time for a lesson from me, babyface. Let's see if you have the makings of a warrior. Let's fight. Time to fight. What do they think they're doing? Ah! Ah! Uh. Used to happen. Yeah. If you must fight, fight well. Yeah. No mercy. That's oh. it. Ah. Yeah. Stop it. Ah. Ah. Again. Yeah. Bad. What do you think you're playing at? You're better than I thought you'd be. 
Next time we fight, we'll be in the arena. Then it'll be different. I'm ready to face you in the arena. Then stop talking and start walking. Will you fight me in the arena or not? Looks like it, doesn't it? Time to fight! Looks like your training's working. Looks like it. So have I passed? You've learned a few things. Is there anyone else for me to face? Or is this over? You're a combat happy bastard, aren't you? Go and see Eric. He'll sort you out. I'm a bastard. What? You want me to kiss you and tell you you're a good fighter? You're a bastard. Beating Kato is a big thing. You have come on a long way. I'm glad you did it. He needed taking down a peg. He's not the friendliest man I've met. Carefully doesn't bear a grudge. You think he's the sort? Kato's the sort who always wants revenge, but he won't tangle with you again. He'll leave that to someone stronger. Arik is my bet. What will Master Arik do? The easiest thing would be not to allow you to complete your basic training. But Kato is Arik's friend, so he might even challenge you himself. In which case, I'll have to beat him. Arik's not an easy target. He's affable enough on the face of it, but he's able to take care of himself. What did you do to Kato? Fought him. He said to train. I said to train. I've never seen him look so battered. But a few victories against a few trainees won't make you a proper fighter. No? No. The time has come for you to face me. If you feel like getting some more training, now would be the time. Unless you want to make it easy for me to pull your liver through your nostrils. I'm ready. Are you? Let's hope your fighting is as confident as your tongue. You don't know who you're messing with. Ah! 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 
See your gold. It doesn't give me any pleasure to defeat you. Have you seen what's out there? You need training. Don't challenge me again until you're ready. <laughs> 